hello everyone good morning all of you so in this session i would like to explain you about service po process so service po is nothing but service purchase order okay suppose i am doing painting and uh, vendor is providing painting services for that painting uh, we need to create a purchase order we need to create a service entry sheet and we need to create a invoice so what we have to do here we need to create a service po and then we have to do service entry sheet next invoice so this is the concept that we are going to see today we know how to create a po we know how to create a invoice but we are not sure how to create a service entry sheet this part let me take it up in the system i have done all the background configurations just i am showing the process today so if we need to create a po me21n is the transaction code press enter button give the vendor uh, my vendor is reliance industries i have already created this vendor purchase organization bi30 purchasing group 000 company code will come automatically from my purchase organization okay so go to item overview so i want to create a painting for administration building okay so here i wanted to do for against cost center i wanted to have the services against cost center take cost center and item category i'll take it as services okay so for services there is no material i need to give the short text painting painting services okay so press enter button system will ask num plant number so this is our plant bi3a and then uh, we can create a service number just like metal master we can create a service master ac01 is the transaction code or without service master also we can create a service po so like painting one quantity or i'll take it as five quantity okay each five quantity means there's like a five units okay so the gross price will be 10000 and this painting services it has to go to my service gl account so this is my service i'll take the service gl account this is my service gl account and i want to book these expenses to my admin department 1010 for administration building i am doing painting so the painting was divided into four layers so i have taken four units just like as an example so click on okay check button no errors we can directly save so open this po this is the po 733 so if you have an approval process then you have to go for po approval if there is no po approval directly you can go to goods receipt so we can receive goods here like migo is the transaction code for goods receipt we are not receiving material we are receiving services so this is the purchase order right now let us go and create a service order let us go and create a service entry sheet okay m l 81 n is the transaction code for service entry sheet it's a standard transaction code enter in case of service po there is no goods receipt there is no my go only service entry sheet when you are doing service entry sheet automatically your my go document also will be generated i'll show you how click on other purchase order give your po number whatever you have created if you wanted to take for a particular item you can give the item otherwise you can give it blank so click ok button this is the purchase order and this is the item now go to create entry sheet 
I need to copy these items from the purchase order. So click on this service selection. Okay, give the text. Painting services. Okay. Now just click on this service selection. Click on adopt full quantity. So I need to take complete quantity from the purchase order. Enter. So there are five quantity. Just select this. Click on adopt services. So this is a PO. From PO I am selecting. If you are having 10 items, you can select 10 items. Click on services. Now, if you want to change the quantity, you can change the quantity. You are a uh, service manager. You are checking the services and you want to confirm the services. If they have done only two quantities, give two quantities. If they have done five quantities, you can give five quantities. Now, accept. You are a manager. If you are accepting only, they will make payment. So just click on accept. Now, click on the service entry sheet number has been generated, but accounting document will not be generated at this point since it is in uh, second level. Now click on save button. Now accounting document also generated. So accepted document 220 posted. Okay. So now simple how to check this document. Go to display PO display. Click on purchase order display. So this is the purchase order. This is the item details for first item. Go to the purchase order history. In purchase order history, you have a service entry sheet here and also material document. So if you want to see the service entry sheet, just click on service entry sheet. If you want to see the material document, click on this material document. And this will be the MyGo document. The screen looks like same MyGo screen. Go to the document information and click on FY document. So generally, what will be the accounting entry? Our accounting entry should be like, there should be one debit, there should be one credit. Do you agree with me? So all services. Services is debit. As per our accounting rule, services is a debit. Next one, to vendor generally. Generally. So because vendor is paying to us as a normal accounting entry to vendor. But we are not hitting vendor. We are hitting SR IR account. What is SR IR account? Service receipt, invoice receipt account. Just like GRIR account. Okay. Now I'll just go to accounting entry. See, services account is debit, five quantity, each 10,000. That is 50,000. And SR IR account is also credit. Clear? Next one. Let's go to invoice. So at the time of invoice, what will be the accounting entry? So very simple. This will reverse. SRIR will be debit. Now to vendor account will be credit. Okay. Hope we are good. Let us see this. I'll just go to MIRO, same process. Give the date, service invoice. Okay. So give the PO number. What is the PO number? 733 is the PO number. 733 is the PO number. Text, service invoice. Take this amount 50,000. Keep it under amount column. Uh, there is a withholding tax. If you want to apply withholding tax, you can apply withholding tax. I don't want to apply withholding tax. I'll remove it. Go to withholding tax tab. Just remove it. Click on simulate button. Okay. Now post. Accounting document has been generated. Let me display the accounting document, this invoice, display, follow on documents. This is the accounting document. Check SRIR is debit, debit is positive value, Reliance Industries, vendor is credit, vendor will be negative value. 
same whatever we have discussed here very simple okay now if somebody ask you where do you get this srir account same wrx how you are configuring your grir in the same way we have to configure your srir okay so hope you are clear next payment will be same bank reconciliation brs will be same that process will be completely same okay hope we are good and one more thing after doing this service entry sheet after doing this uh, service invoice we can go back to our po just i'll open our po once again i'll go to item details if you go to purchase order history you can able to check all this is the service entry sheet this is the goods receipt so this is the invoice receipt this is the goods receipt when you are receiving a goods a services movement type will be 101 only anything we are receiving from vendor it's a 101 movement type okay i hope now it is completely clear okay thank you all of you Thank you.